friends welcome you all to fifth lecture on gps surveying today i am going to discuss on gps software the class will be primarily dealt on two aspects of gps software that is the field software and office software now the field software actually there are four types of field softwares we will discuss firmware operating system software then controller software and real time processing software whereas in office software we will discuss interface software downloading and uploading software post processing software and application software apart from that there is one more type of software available that is called planning software now what is gps software why it is required actually all activities during gps surveying is being carried out by making use of some or other types of software and in making use of the software we use two types of computer one is that used in the field that is called field computer another is in the office that is called office computer now within the field in there are the, uh, within the field computer this field softwares get installed to carry out all activities in the field and the office softwares gets installed in the office computer to carry out mostly the processing part of gps surveying as i told you the field software primarily consist of four types that is the firmware then it is the operating system software then the controller software and the real time processing software now what is firmware firmware are the software or programs or set of programs that is installed inside the receiver consisting of different hardwares and these are required to operate and control the different hardwares that is available inside the gps receiver next the operating software actually inside the field computer there is a operating software which primarily operates and controls the field computer and to it provides the basic framework in which the other field softwares gets installed and works and interfacing is to be done it provides an interface between the field computer as well as field software now example of field operating system software in gps serving are one of that is windows mobile operating system next the controller software actually as i told you in the last class controller of a gps receiver is nothing but a pumped up computer or field computer where the input output devices are there and to carry out the field surveying work that controller also gets installed one particular software called controller software sometimes it is also called field software which really helps in carrying out all surveying activities now this controller software also guides and provides the necessary parameter to antenna to work then it also provides the necessary parameter to the receiver hardware to uh, function the nature of function of gps receiver hardware also depends on what the controller software provides it as an instruction also the controller software provides an interface between the uh, navigation software and our real time application software now some of the field software that is available nowadays are terrasync software then promark magnetic field software apart from that there is one more type of software available 
within the controller of GPS receiver that is the real time processing software. This software makes use of the processed data of GPS receiver and provides the user the real time information like the position real time information about the position of a receiver or the navigation status. If we want to navigate around uh, in a city then the real time processing software will provide us the necessary guideline or navigational uh, parameters. Now, some of the uh, real time software that we use are article Leap, Ortron, etc. Now, let me demonstrate you the different types of field software that is available in different types of controller. Now, let me demonstrate about firmware. The firmware that is available inside this controller that we can get by first tapping the start menu. Once the start menu is coming, then in that menu we will get the setting and inside the setting we will get the system and within that if we go to system information, we will get the information about the firmware by tapping the info. So, the, the, this provides us the details about the firmware that is being used <coughs> like uh, the processor we are using this uh, TIRAM37X 1.2 speed RAM size. So, like this we can have the information about firmware inside this system information for any controller or any other um, uh, hardware we use in GPS serving. Now, let me tell you about operating system software that is working inside this controller. Now, in order to know what is the operating system software that is working inside this controller, we go by start, first we have to click start, then we should click to setting. Inside the setting, if we go to the system and inside the system, if we go the about, then it will provide us the information about the operating system that is Windows embedded handheld 6.5 professional. So, in this way we also know what is the operating system and further work on operating system can be done. Now, I will like to demonstrate on uh, controller software. controller software that is available inside this uh, controller to find out the controller software that is being used by this controller we first tap the start and here you can see in the uh, start menu itself this triple access is the controller software that is available within this controller. So, now it is opening. Now, th this is the uh, opening menu. So, here we can see we can go for general survey, then equipment management, settings, other things are there and this is an access sync which ex gives some connectivity between different units to be operated. So, we will be learning in detail about this afterwards. Now, let me demonstrate about the real time software. So, real time 
software. In this controller, there is a very powerful real time software which is called SetNav that we can get access through tapping the start and so you can see that set viewer set viewer is the name of the real time software that is available now since we are inside this room it is unable to capture the gps signal otherwise this real time software will capture the uh, GPS signal and also it will provide us the latitude, longitude, speed, azimuth, height, so many, para so many uh, parameters. It will also show us the sky view of the GPS satellite, then like we can get the GPS data, data view if, if some data comes. So, now I will like to demonstrate you the a software which provides connection between the field computer and the office computer that is called uh, software to connect the uh, field computer. office computer and the software that is being used by this controller is the active sync in this controller we can get it from start menu actually this is the very fundamental thing so it is available in the start menu itself that you can see here active sync. So, uh, once we get connected then this arrow will move. So, now we are not connecting. So, it is stand still now. Now, let me go to second category of GPS software that is the office software. Now, uh, the whatever we have collected the data uh, using the GPS receiver. Now, that requires to be downloaded and processed in the office. So, we need another kind of software that is called office software, which primarily carries out some basic functions like it provides the interface between the field computer and the office computer. Then, to download the data from field computer to office computer, then to process the data that has been downloaded from the office com uh, from the field computer to office computer. Now, many times we need to upload the data from office computer to field computer that is also done by some office software then to carry out these activities actually there are many softwares available in the market and these softwares sometimes carry out these works independently like uh, there may be a particular software which only provides the interface between the field computer and the office computer or there may be some software which may only download the data from field computer to office computer or some software may be working for both downloading and uploading data from field computer to office computer and vice versa. Also there may be some software which carries out all these works together that means it has the capability to provide interface between the field computer and office computer that some that software also have the capability to download the data from the field computer to co office computer that 
software may also be capable of carrying out post processing of the GPS data. So, there are many software available having defined capabilities. Now, depending upon the different types of software available, office software may primarily be divided into few types like interfacing software, downloading and uploading software, then post processing software, then planning software. Now, this interfacing software, what is that? It provides the interface between the field computer and the office computer and vice versa. So, like Active Sync is a software which is generally used for interfacing purpose. Now, the downloading or uploading software, as I told you that some software is required to download data from field computer to office computer. And for staking out operations, sometimes we need to upload the data from office computer to field computer. So, we need a specific type of software to upload the data from office computer to field computer. But the most important operation that the office software is required to be done is the post processing. That means, to process the GPS observation that has been taken by field computer and downloaded to office computer and to further process it to provide us the necessary information like position, time, baseline length, etcetera, etcetera. Now, there are different types of post processing softwares are available in the market. And depending upon the defined capabilities of the software, the processing differs. Some software only has the capability to extract code based information of the GPS signal, some software can process the frequency part of the GPS signal, but some software may also go for single frequency processing, some may go for double frequency processing, still better quality of GPS post processing software go for triple frequency or sometimes still better or high quality software which can process the GNSS signals. However, all these softwares may fundamentally be divided into two types. One is called commercial software, another is called scientific post processing software. Now, what is commercial software, post processing software? Commercial post processing GPS softwares are the softwares which has the capability to process the data received by some particular GPS receiver. What does it mean? Actually, particular GPS receiver receives and stores the data in particular format and that particular software can only decipher information when it is, when it is available in particular format. Actually, each one of the GPS receiver manufacturers, they stores their data in particular format and corresponding to that format, they develop some specific software to process the data of their own receiver. However, because many times we will be collecting the data using receivers from defined manufacturers. So, the good quality software must have the capability of interoperability means it must be capable of processing data from other receiver. Now, what this how they do generally they have the capability to import data in Rhinex format and also 
capability to export data in INX format. What is INX format? It is a receiver independent exchange format. So, uh, most of the processing receivers, uh, sorry, most of the post processing GPS software must have the capable of processing the data also in RINX format. <clears throat> now, this post processing software has some other characteristics that it provides the final output of the processing operation. So, really what are the different model mathematical models or uh, assumptions it is taking it has done during processing that is not available for the users. So, these commercial softwares are receiver dependent as well as we are unable to know what really limitations inside this software are. However, for our day to day GPS serving work, this serves a very good option. Now, some of the commercial softwares that we generally come across are Business Center, GeoOffice, GNSS Solution, Spectrum Survey Office, etc. Next, the GPS processing software is the scientific type. Scientific softwares are the GPS processing software which are capable of processing data having different formats. So, these softwares are of very high capable in nature. These softwares are generally developed by high scientific organization. <coughs> so, these softwares are receiver independent and the software consists of a numbers of programs, small programs put together to give a robust uh, <coughs> program and most of the times the models and the working of the software makes public. So, a user make use of those models know what are the mathematics involved, what are the mathematical model that has been used and moreover when a user is in need they make they can make use of those software those models and they can modify it for some other purpose or according to their need. So, these scientific softwares are the most uh, capable variety of software GPS processing processing software available in the market and in most cases these scientific softwares are available free of cost and these as I told you these softwares can process the data from different in different formats also it has the capability to, de, to process the data in INX format. So, they are considered to be very versatile in nature. And the last or the in most important another important variety of post processing software is the application software. Application softwares are the softwares which solves the users in particular need. Once we get the GPS data and that get processed through the post processing software or the real time processing software, those information can be fit to this type of software, application software and they provide us a particular solution. As for example, that AutoCAD 3D Sable, this is a software for drafting purpose. So, once we get the GPS post process information like position, then we may prepare the planimetric map as well as the contour map using the AutoCAD 3D Sable. Like that there are many other uh, softwares available like LISCAD, MicroStation, etcetera, 
which are primarily used for our GPS serving uh, work that means specifically for mapping purpose. Now, over and above these softwares which are primarily used for GPS serving work, there is another software which is of very importance for GPS serving work. Of course, this software is not directly used for surfing uh, during surfing work, but this software is required for planning purpose of the GPS serving. Now, the planning of GPS serving is very important because the availability of the satellites and their conditions for uh, serving whether it is whether it will be suitable or not that we need to do before we really start the GPS serving. So, to carry out the planning of GPS serving there is another software called planning software that is available and in many cases this software is available either independently and many times it is available in open source and many times this software this software is available this work can be done as a module this is available as a module in uh, highly developed post processing software and these softwares are useful for planning purpose. With this I like to summarize today's lesson that for GPS serving work we are in need of different types of serving rather we can say GPS serving works involves making use of different types of uh, software called GPS software. They may be primarily divided into two types. One is called field software which is being installed in the field computer. Another variety is called office software which is being installed in office computer. Fields, field softwares are mostly used in controlling operating the GPS server as well as to collect the GPS data in the from the in the field and that data is got transferred to the office computer through interfacing software office software and further it get processed. For processing there are defined varieties of software available in the market depending upon the capability of the post processing software we may get the quality of information rather the quality of information that the GPS serving provides depends upon the quality of the processing post processing software also and of the post processing software scientific software are of the most capable variety and uh, there is another type of software called uh, application software which is being used to make use the data or the information we just get from post processing software for our particular use like in surveying work we need to have the mapping software like AutoCAD 3D Sable to map the uh, surveying uh, field and then another software called application uh, planning software which helps in planning the GPS serving. Now with this I want to conclude today's class. See you again in the next class where in which I will be talking on GPS position. Thank you. See you again.